Well, it's liftoff for SpaceX, a space transport company launching a two-stage Falcon 9 rocket from Vandenberg Air Force Base in California. It's carrying 10 communication satellites. It's going to be deployed all around the world. And Bill Harwood is our CBS News space consultant. He joins us now. Big moment. Everyone was watching this. A lot of people were watching this. What's the goal with this launch, Bill? Well, the, the near-term goal is to launch 10 Iridium satellite telephone relay stations. You know, these are the satellites that people who own satellite telephones can contact others around the world anywhere. That's the near-term goal. But the really big goal is for SpaceX to demonstrate a successful flight. You know, this comes just four months after a catastrophic explosion in Cape Canaveral. They really need to restore confidence in their Falcon 9 rocket. And so far, so good. They got off to a great start. Picture perfect liftoff from Vandenberg, as you said. Oh, that's great to hear. I want to ask you, though, you were mentioning that this rocket is carrying 10 satellites. It's the first, as you said, of a series of satellites to be deployed. But will this make our cell phone reception better? How is this going to help people on the ground here? No, no, it's, it's not. A, these are not cell phone satellites. They're, they're literally satellite telephone satellites, if you will. In other words, these are satellites that your telephone communicates with directly. It doesn't use a cell system. So if you're in Antarctica or in the middle of the Sahara Desert, way away from any kind of communications, these telephones can talk directly to a satellite overhead and connect you to whoever you want to call. It's a, it's a system that already exists, but these new satellites are going to give Viridium, the company that owns these, uh, vastly more capability. This is the first 10 of 70 satellites they're launching uh, with SpaceX, uh, 10 at a time on seven missions. This is the first of those seven missions. I don't think people realize when you're traveling in these remote locations how important that technology is to talk and speak to the rest of the world, especially when we're covering wars and that sort of thing. So it's pretty remarkable that you mentioned the difference between a regular cell phone and this. But I want to ask you about the pressure for this launch after last year's explosion. What did they do differently here compared to last September's launch that failed? You know, they, uh, they had a very subtle problem that caused that problem back in September. It had to do with ultra-low temperature propellants that SpaceX uses to gain some additional performance. They changed their countdown procedure slightly for this mission. They, they started loading those propellants earlier. The goal is to keep slightly warmer temperatures in those, in those tanks to prevent any kind of a problem like they had back in September. Now, they tested that a week ago when they test fired these engines. They, they fueled it up and test fired the engines. And again today, uh, with an apparently successful launch. So it would appear they've gotten around that problem. But of course, one success does not a story make. Uh, to restore confidence in this vehicle, they're going to need to put together a string of successes. And that, of course, is what their goal is. And Bill, what's next for SpaceX now? Well, assuming this flight goes well, and remember, it's not quite over yet, uh, but assuming they get all 10 of those satellites in the proper orbit, the attention is going to shift back to Cape Canaveral, uh, just a few miles from where I'm sitting. Uh, they hope to launch a communication satellite later this month from Cape Canaveral Air Force Station, and then in February, launch the next mission to the International Space Station carrying supplies. They have a big backlog of satellites awaiting launch, and it's going to be a very busy pace if they can keep it up. All right, Bill Harwood, thanks for explaining this to us, Bill.